to Ukraine blasts hitting the capital, Kyiv's central district, early this morning. Kyiv's mayor, Vitaly Klitschenko, saying that the air defense systems were dispatched after 13 Iranian Shahid drones were intercepted so far. Now, this, according to the military administration of Kyiv. Now, the head of Kyiv's neighboring region, Vitaly Bushenko, warning that there may be a second wave of attacks. This all comes as the United States is reportedly finalizing plans to send the Patriot missile defense system to Ukraine. It's considered to be one of the most advanced U.S. air defense systems and is usually in short supply. Ukraine has repeatedly asked Western partners for air defense systems to protect from heavy Russian missile bombardment against its critical energy infrastructure. Let's bring in I-24 News international affairs correspondent Batya Leventhal live with us in studio this morning. Batya, the ground-based air defense systems like the Patriot one built to intercept incoming missiles. The U.S. could send this as early as Thursday. What kind of a game changer would this be for the Ukrainians? Right, well, I think for those who don't understand exactly what it means to have a, a SAM, which is the surface-to-air missile defense system, so it's important to differentiate between the two, in particular for the Israeli audience. Here that is very familiar with the Iron Dome. The Iron Dome is a short range missile interceptor, meaning that it can intercept missiles that are coming from a short range through from Gaza or even from the north into Israel. What the difference is here and why it is so groundbreaking for the United States to send Patriot missiles to the Ukraine is that this attempts to look at firing or defending against long range or intermediate ballistic and cruise missiles. In other words, it can travel a far greater distance and it's radar detection. We're talking you know, Israel is a small country, but when you talk about someone like, or something in a sense like Ukraine, think about going back to the Iraq wars where the U.S. was deploying the same type of missiles. It is a massive country. So to be able to, to not only target long range uh, missiles that are coming in, in like a barrage of rockets from Russia into Ukraine, it also has the ability to do so in, in more of a gust. So it's targeting further and it's targeting more at the same time. And so, as you mentioned, Ukraine has been asking for these missiles missile defenses for months. Why is it now all of a sudden coming to the fore? It is not that it's now coming to the fore just because there's been more rockets coming in from Russia, but also because the logistics in terms of actually sending equipment like this, we are talking about a, it is massive in scale and sheer size. So to be able to send this to Ukraine as well as to set it up, it takes months, months to train people on the ground to use such a complicated defense system. They're now going to have to do it in a matter of days, given how critical the situation is on the ground in Ukraine, but it's likely that, as you mentioned, this could go ahead as soon as Thursday, but it really would be game-changing in terms of stopping so many of the barrage of missiles coming in from Russia to Ukraine. And in these brutal winter months continued attacks on critical Ukrainian infrastructure earlier in the week, 1.5 million Ukrainians in Odessa without power. What's the latest with the Russian attacks on crucial energy heating infrastructure? This is not a game-changing strategy in the sense that Russia has known to target a lot of energy infrastructure. Here we've been complaining that it's freezing cold today in Tel Aviv. It is 18 degrees outside. In Ukraine, it is minus 4. So we're talking about a 22-degree difference of which people don't have the ability, let alone to, to cook and to keep warm and to find decent shelter while they're trying to run. You know, now Kiev is coming under attack of, of a latest barrage of Russian missiles. But more so than that, cell signal. People are not able to be able to contact their families to find out if they are okay, if they are safe, if they manage to get to a shelter in time, if they're protected. And so it's likely that this is just the very beginning, minus four in Ukraine in terms of the weather. It's likely to get worse. And until these systems are being sent to Ukraine in order to help them defend themselves, it's also likely that there's going to be a much greater barrage of rockets coming in from Russia as they seemingly have more to prove given the trajectory of the war that is currently leading at the moment. But it's likely that it's going to be a very harsh winter if it continues down this road, even without the U.S. support in terms of sending their Patriot missile defense system. Well, Batya, there was no immediate comment from Ukrainian officials regarding the Patriot missiles being transported to Ukraine, but Kyiv did hold high-level military talks with Washington. That was according to President Volodymyr Zelensky's office. Um, there's also reports that the United States is waiting for the approval of the defense secretary. Talk to us about the bureaucracy when it comes to sending weapons like this to an ally. Right, so it's 
it is there is a bureaucratic system and a process that has to take place. We also have to remember that countries, for example, like Poland, which is a NATO ally, as well as Israel, have already purchased the Patriot missile defense system from the United States. There is still bureaucracy involved. As you mentioned, it first needs to go through the defense secretary, Lloyd Austin, and once it gets his approval in terms of being able to logistically send, being able to be given the okay to train the Ukrainians on the ground in Ukraine how to use the system in such a short span of time, it then needs to get the, the seal of approval from the very top being U.S. President Joe Biden. However, the bureaucratic process is likely to sort of be shortened because of the fact that there is such an intense barrage of rockets from Russia. We've heard it countless times from the U.S. administration. It is likely that Biden will not hold up the process and will make sure to sign that so that he gets those missiles to Ukraine as quickly as possible and so that the process of training them can begin as soon as possible as well. I-24 News political and international affairs correspondent Batia Leventhal breaking it all down for us this morning. Thank you. Thank you.